Hey guys, Corey with Gotta Be Mobile and the brand new 5.5 inch Google Pixel XL. Now we got this phone here, we're gonna give you a quick look, unbox it, kinda show you what comes with it and what this phone is all about and uh, give you guys a quick look. So, of course this is the 5.5 inch Google Pixel XL. There's also a 5 inch regular Pixel that will also be available for those that want a smaller device. It's shipping around October 21st, 22nd, although it is sold out in the Google Play Store. Alternatively, it is available exclusively from Verizon Wireless. So this is Google's new phone. We got the very white 5.5 inch 32 gigabyte model. And this is not a Nexus, this is a Pixel. And this is gonna be kind of a, an important thing moving forward for Android and for Google because this isn't you know, a stock Android smartphone running the latest kind of you know, software. It is Google's phone made inside and out 100% by Google rather than being made by a partner. It also has the latest Android 7.1 Nougat along with some added benefits and custom features and stuff like that that won't be available you know, for stock Android, like we'd see on maybe a Moto X Pure Edition or the past Nexus devices. So go ahead and get through the box here, give you a quick look at that, some paperwork and information, nothing too special, a SIM slot removal tool, and then of course it is comes from Verizon as the exclusive carrier, so there's a Verizon SIM card, at least in ours. And then we have a nice cable here for charging. Google actually provides two cables, which is nice, so for one, there's a regular USB type A to type C cable for charging and kind of to use some of your old chargers or anything like that and connect the phone to a lot of different accessories. And then we also have something that's really important here, which is a USB type A to type C adapter. Now the point of this here is for one, you can use kind of your old cables. And for two, this is what enables everyone that has the Pixel to transfer data from an old iPhone or a new old Android device and kind of transfer everything. And Google also has a new system that literally transfers everything with this. So you plug it in and it transfers everything, apps, app data, settings, information, lock screen, call details, text messages, everything. So really nice, it's kind of like what Samsung has, but Google's now integrated it right into Android for everyone. Then we have the charger and it's not a regular charger. You can't use your old cables. It is exclusively USB type C. And then a longer, bigger, USB Type-C, USB Type-C charging cord. So they do provide both, one of each, which is kind of nice. But let's go ahead and throw all this aside and give you a quick look at the Pixel. And then, of course, you can stay tuned for a full video review later. So here it is, Google's brand new flagship smartphone. And kind of the important things here is, you know, the new Google Assistant, and then they've got kind of what they claim is a world-class camera. And it, of course, runs Android 7.1 Nougat and fingerprint scanner and the premium metal design. The point here is it's kind of a two-prong approach similar to Apple or Samsung. There's a 5-inch model and a 5.5-inch model. They're both in 32 or 120 gigabytes of storage. They all have the latest and greatest bells and whistles. And the smaller model isn't a lower quality phone with, you know, lower specs. So these are two flagship top-tier devices for anyone that wants them. So go ahead and tear this plastic off. We're not going to dive into it too much. We're just gonna kinda of give you a quick look for now. So as we said again, this is a 5.5 inch Quad HD AMOLED display. Go ahead and get this started. And uh, we have the white model here and it's got this silver on the back with this kind of two-tone look and this is glass. And then the Nexus imprint, we have a 12.3 megapixel camera which Google claims is the best camera in any smartphone. And as you notice, there's no camera hump. It is completely missing. And that's because it's kind of hard to tell but the phone is a little thicker up top than at the bottom and it kind of tapers off to hide that camera. Then of course the dual LED flash, couple of sensors. We have the power button and volume rockers on the side. And down on the bottom here we have the ooh, little tone. The USB Type-C charging port and what looks like two speakers but sadly it is not. One is a microphone and this one on the left is the speaker. It does get really loud but it might kind of get covered when you're holding the phone. We have the SIM slot here and hey thumbs up a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So there it is. We also have an 8 megapixel camera on the front and some sensors and here is the phone. So we did want to kind of show you one thing really cool here before we kind of dive into everything. You'll notice when we unlock the screen, the lock screen kind of moves. And this is a nice kind of effect we've seen a lot. You can kind of see it there. And when we unlock the phone, it kind of moves into view. So we just booted up the phone. So that was kind of the reason for that. Go ahead and tap that fingerprint scanner again. You can kind of see it move and the motion and the shifting. Just kind of a nice effect here. So of course we got Android 7.1 Nougat here 
and uh, we do have a couple of changes here but a couple of key things here is the pixel launcher this looks a little bit different from what we've seen from uh, previous devices with this kind of new dock bar and uh, there's no app tray button you just swipe up and uh, then of course they have the launcher shortcuts kind of like what we've seen from Apple in the past you kind of tap a button like the messaging app and it kind of gives you quick access to instantly start a text message and that also works with other things like uh, the, you know starting music or you know tap the camera you can instantly take a video or take a selfie which is kind of nice and uh, just a lot of different things and then of course the Google Assistant you see this new little kind of animation going on on the screen here but you go ahead and tap that and the Google Assistant is kind of a highlight feature here. We're not going to get into that too much just because there's a lot to kind of cover there. And then they've also added a few gestures with the fingerprint scanner. You swipe down with your finger and it pulls down the application tray. You can swipe again to pull it down again. So kind of a quick access way to kind of get to your notifications, which is nice. And we do have the double tap on the power button to launch the camera and a couple other things like that. But overall, we've got a pretty stock version of Android 7.1, but uh, there's a lot of kind of additional changes and controls and, and features here. But that's it for now. It's just a quick look. We didn't want to get into it too much for now. Stay tuned for uh, more details and a full hands-on video and video review coming soon. Thanks for watching, guys.